Welcome my YouTube channel is subscribed now thank Young and the Restless. Audra tells Nate she's already facing a threat, Sharon assures Faith that she's doing okay, and Summer is angry at Daniel for speaking to Kyle all products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for account Lucy interrupts at the door, looking for Faith. Sharon says she'll be home soon and invites her in. Lucy knew she was taking a chance finding her since she has so many friends. She just came to drop off a bracelet she got for her at a vintage shop. Sharon is sure her daughter will love it. When Lucy spots the photo album, she assumes it's Mariah. Sharon explains it's her twin sister and adds that she died. She thinks of her more than it's possible to know. Cassie was pure joy. Funny, smart, kind, and loved all the world's four-legged creatures. Faith's dry conversation brought her back even more. Her daughter can see she's not exactly happy. As they sit on the sofa, Sharon explains she needs to have a good cry every once in a while. Cassie was so special and she doesn't want to forget a moment of her so she looks at her photos to keep her fresh. Maybe she's been on her mind more than usual, but there's nothing to be concerned about. Thinking about Cassie and the joy she brought is a good thing. They hug. Once Faith takes off, Sharon returns to looking at pictures of Ideal as she'd hoped. It's only day one, and she's already under attack. It's coming from inside the C-suite. Since he's no stranger to corporate intrigue, she asks Nate how she should take care of Kyle. Fire his ass before he takes you down, he urges. She'd like nothing more but that can't happen right now because her investor picked him for the job. Nate asks her what happened to being able to run the company as she sees fit. Is she sure she's back to Portugal? This startles him. She just meant it's a good time to visit her dad. That's a relief to him. She wouldn't want to leave the love of her life and their beautiful but underfunded life. He agrees it's pretty perfect minus the no jobs part. They kiss and he reminds her they could return to the apartment. She has to take a rain check since she's supposed to meet with their daughter. Daniel asks after her father and she explains he seems lonely. He thinks they could have a family trip and she's all for it. They just have to convince Lucy to talk. Welcome my YouTube channel is subscribe now thank you.